unboxing is Super Small Miniature Marvels of the Natural World by Tiffany Stone, illustrated by Ashley Spires, published by Greystone Kids. And at first you think like, oh, maybe it's some kind of like cartoony, you know, like creature, you know, some kind of superhero story. But these are real super small. So then it makes you think, oh, they must be like, you know, bacteria or something like very, very tiny. Um, and at first the end paper, you're like, oh, it looks like the night sky. Not quite sure what that is. But then the title page, you see, it gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So like maybe like bacteria or some kind of like protozoa type thing. Oh, and there is kind of a superhero-esque message. Um, and is it, and it's rhyming. So, oh, these are mites. So these are like little creatures that, um, I mean, I think there's like skin mites even, right? So it is, it's kind of like superhero, a little bit of a graphic novel rhyming, but actual, actual creatures that are tiny, not necessarily microscopic. Like a pygmy seahorse is small, but you know, you don't need a microscope to see them. A dwarf lantern shark still is, you know, the size of a hand, but for a shark, it's small. Okay, so it's not all bacteria. An axolotl, um, they're super cute. At the RISD um, Nature Center, they raise them and they're they're adorable, but they actually can grow to be big. It like they kind of grow to the size of their container. A black footed cat. Wait, they're getting bigger. <laughs> Are they getting smaller again? Snail plant hopper. Okay, shrew, a wood frog. So these are not microscopic necessarily. These are just small creatures that, you know, you can view with the naked eye, but it's done in a way to make it um, you know, like, like as appealing as possible to kids, like graphic novel format, rhymes, um, you know, illustrations that are a little bit superhero cartoonish, very clever. I would say overall, very clever. And Ashley Spires, I was thinking like, wait, I, I've heard of her and she is the author and illustrator of the most magnificent thing, which I feel like every single person has read. And Tiffany Stone also has other books, Little Narwhal, Not Alone. Um, so it's a fun way just to learn about um, creatures that probably none of us know too much about, but it definitely would appeal to kids who like nonfiction and the natural world and graphic novels. You know, this is probably a good book to get kids off screens. So thank you to Greystone. Greystone Kids for sending this to me, and thank you for watching.